All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and take a look at Wondershare Uni Converter. Now, this converter has a lot of feature, guys. If you guys want to try the free trial, just like I did right here, go to Wondershare.net. And uh, actually, yeah, you'll go to Wondershare.net, hover over here where it says product, and click over here where it says video converter ultimate. It'll take you here to Uni Converter. And then uh, click right here on the purple button that says try free. Once you install it, this is what it looks like here. Really easy to use. I love the way they just put a quick, you know, drag files here to start conversion. And when you get your uh, videos down here, you click on this little folder to find it. And it, it saves them to Uniconverter converted under the C drive. So I love it how everything is just easy to get to. I've always been impressed with Wondershare products because of that. But anyway... You can convert, which is what this product mainly was made for, convert. But not only that, you can also download, which we'll get to that later. You can burn CDs, you can transfer to your phone, and there's a couple other things you can do too. For example, screen recorder, cast to TV. We'll look at all these in a bit. But first, let's start off with the converter. All right, really cool. Just click on this little folder here in the middle. It'll pop up a window, and from here, you can go ahead and look for your video. Um, for example, I have uh, the videos I need in desktop, so I clicked on desktop here on the left. I um, have it under YouTube videos, and we're just going to pick my dog here when he was a puppy. That video there, it's an MP4 video. All right, here on the right-hand side where it says target, so it's going to show your source video right here, source, and then a little arrow saying target. Target means it's going to convert it to this file here. So right now it's set from MP4, that's the original, to WMV, which is Windows Media Video. Click on the little downward arrow, and uh, you can click on Video here tab. And here on the left-hand side, there's a slider where you can select a bunch of different formats. So here you can get AVI, WMV, M4V, XVID, ASF, MPEG, which is a very popular one, VOB, which is for DVDs. There is a bunch of them here, guys. All right, so what I'm, the one I'm going to select is WMV, Windows Media Video. And I recommend you always select same as source. Or you can make it 1080p, 720 or 480p, whatever you guys want to do. But same as source is usually what you want to do. All right, then you click on Convert. Now keep in mind we're using the free trial, and it says you can only convert a third length of the original video. Um, we will look in a bit, see how much it costs to buy this thing, but we're just going to click on Continue Trial because we're testing it out. All right, it's converting right now. And depending on, this, on how fast your computer is, this could take a while, guys. So it's converting right now. There it goes, it's halfway done, 48%. It's going pretty fast, actually. Ninety-three percent. And there we are, success. All right, once you're done converting, guys, like I said, you click down here on this little folder. It will open where it's at. So it's opening it right now. It's under the C drive, under only converter and converted. And there it is. Let's go ahead and play it to make sure it works. All right, starting up right now. All right, cool. There it is. Now, I do notice it looks a little pixelated here. You notice that. So the quality with WMV went a little bit down. And it only did a third of the video. The video is actually longer than that. So came out all right. It came out all right. Cool. So that's the converter right there, guys. And uh, like I said, you there is so many different ones. You can look. I, re I recommend trying them all. Well, sometimes, you know, you're uploading videos. And I know YouTube is very well, and it's not that you picky no more, but it used to be. But I know that certain places want certain formats. So, so uh, they have a pretty good list here, things you can convert to. So I like that. Oh, you can also turn it into audio. If you want to turn your video to MP3, you can do that here too. It'll take off the video and only leave the audio file as an MP3. Some people like to do that. For example, if you have a music video, you just want to put it to music, you can do it this way. All right. You can also take it to a device I can see here. Yeah, you can make it so that it works with the device. So you can even choose the device you want. But I recommend you just choose uh, the formats that I recommend are MP4, 
right? Which is what, what the original video was. MP4, right? AVI, WMV, and MPEG. Those are the ones I recommend. Those are the most common. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and take a look at the download feature here. For example, if you go to any website, really, I tried this with Fox News and it worked on there too. Uh, videos on there, any news channel, any anywhere you want to go and get the video, you can just go to the website, which is really cool. This is a very handy tool. So anyway, here I am in YouTube uh, with a Mozart. We're going to copy the URL on top and then go back to our program here and click on Paste URL. And that will commence the scanning. It's analyzing that uh that link and it should find that Mozart song here in a bit. All right, so I found it here, classical music for brain power Mozart. Perfect, I found it. And we want to download at 1080p. You want to select the best quality possible, guys. And uh yeah, so select MP4. You just want to get the audio cuz sometimes you just want to get the uh the audio, you know, you want to get the song. You go down here and you select MP3, the highest quality possible, just 320 uh, kilobytes per second here all right so we'll, we'll go ahead and hit download and it will download it now we're using the free trial so it says you can only download one file with trial version upgrade to full version all right continue trial and it's going to analyze it it's 1080p so it might take a while to download this bastard um, oh shoot it's a two hour long video dang 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 probably not a good example for you guys oh shoot yeah that sucker is that sucker's pretty long Look down here, we have a high-speed download. I wonder if we could turn that on. And try three times download speed. Turn on. All right, cool. Let's download that sucker, huh? Let's turn it on. So it's analyzing it, but dang, that sucker is long, guys. It is long. So what I'm going to do is just find a regular, just a, a quick song. Um... All right, guys. So I went ahead and got a different song here. <clears throat> it's only three minutes long. So we're going to go ahead and download that. It should go by a lot faster now if you notice not all youtube videos have high quality for example this one has 480p compared to the mozart one we we're looking at that was like 1280p so this one shouldn't take that long to analyze and download so it's taking a couple minutes to download here but there it goes so i noticed the first bug on this one it, it was downloading and then it stopped it just completely stopped I had to pause it and then resume it, and that's what kept it going. So if you guys have that problem, just pause it and resume it. So that's the first bug I've found so far with UniConverter. Okay, guys, it finished downloading, and it took me to this screen here. So just click on Finished up here, and it'll take you to the actual thing. Um, let's go ahead and try it out. Hopefully, YouTube doesn't hit me for uh, copyright laws here. Okay, it seems to work. The reason why I can't play all of it is because YouTube can hit me with copyright. You know, you know how YouTube is. But anyway, um, it looks like it's working. It is working. So we heard it working there. So awesome! You can download. You can actually download any video you want, any website you want. You just put the URL here, and it downloads the video for you. That is awesome, guys. I like that. Got to give uh, Uni Converter some uh, points for that one. All right, let's move on to the next thing. And that's burn. You can actually burn CDs here. And uh, you can burn your video to a DVD. So if you have a DVD burner, which I do on my laptop here, which is right here, you put in a, a blank DVD RW or just R, DVD R, and uh, a blank DVD is what I mean. And you put your videos in here and it'll make a DVD for you, which is really cool. Now, I don't have any blank DVDs, so I'm not able to test this out. Sorry about that, guys. But it does have that function which is awesome and i'm pretty sure the free trial is not going to let you burn the whole dvd which i'm assuming so that's really nice you can actually burn dvds too you could transfer it to your uh, device with usb cable as well so after the device is connected so you got to connect your device it'll pick it up automatically and then you'll be able to transfer to your um, device which would be an iphone android phone whatever it might be tablet all right let's take a look at the rest of the of the features it has here you click on toolbox so you can do image converter so you can actually convert an image to whatever you want you can actually do that with paint as well so i'll probably make a i should make a video on that with uh, microsoft paint 
you know, the one that comes on your computer, you can do that too on there. But you can convert it to PNG, BMP, or TIFF, which is pretty cool. And it'll save it to the same output file that it did the video. So that's nice. Uh, metadata, which is like the stuff that's inside the video. You choose your file and then you could change... Um, you could change the episode name, act director, tagline description, comments. You can change all of that in there once you select your file by clicking on these little three dots right here. Select your file. I don't even know if uh, the video... Please back up before editing. Yeah, the one with my uh, dog, I don't even think it has anything on there, you know? But you can go in there and actually put all this stuff in there, which is really cool. And uh, by putting this in there, it makes it more legit. So if you guys want to put all this in there before you upload it to YouTube, you could probably do that. And I think it stays on there once it goes to YouTube. It might. You can even change the genre from action to comedy, whatever. That's pretty cool. You could put all kinds of stuff on there. So you can change the uh, comments. The metadata is what they call it on the video itself. VR converter, that is awesome. Now, I love VR, man. If you have a video or a movie, you want to you want to trans you want to convert it to VR. Here we are. You can convert it to the HTC Vive, Oculus, Samsung, or you can just go ahead and manually select uh, how it is. Uh, I really don't know exactly how this works. I haven't messed with it that much, but I recommend you try different ones. And the same thing, you click on these three dots right here to select your video. For example, if I select uh, my dog again, it'll add it in there, and then you select. If you have an Oculus Rift, go ahead and select that. But if you just have one of those uh, eBay ones that are like 20 bucks, you can go ahead and select. I don't know which one it would be, guys. So if you guys do find out, go ahead and put in a comment section of the video. That way, whoever's watching this video, you know, can uh, can learn from that. So would appreciate that. If not, if when I get to it, I'll add it on there. So you can make a GIF. You know how GIFs are very popular now in social media. You can make your own GIF or GIF, G-I-F, whatever the heck you want to call it. <laughs> so video, you can put a video in here. You can select the start time and the end time of that video. Um, so you click on add files here. You select the video. What the heck? I need to go back to desktop. Uh, YouTube videos. We'll put that one in there. So you can select. You can use a slider too. That's pretty cool. Use a slider to select what you want to have in your GIF file, and then create GIF. And of course, you know it's going to tell you you can only do five of them in the trial version. And uh, just click on Make GIF. Oh wow, it's taking a while. So it does take a while to do the GIF. I wasn't going to wait forever there but man it shouldn't take that long to make a, a gif there or gif whatever you call it but anyway we i showed you there how to do it which is pretty cool when you're using social media want to share something on social media let's take a good look at video compressor here so compress video so we select our video here and it's 19 megabytes so it's really small so i wouldn't i wouldn't want to make it smaller well unless you're going to send it through email for example if you're going to send it through email you might want to compress the sucker. So, um, where does it say how big it's going to be afterwards? I don't know. Preview, converting. Also, you can preview how it's going to look like once you, uh, once you uh, compress it. So you're making it smaller. That way you can send it out through email. And you can preview it as you could tell here. And it saves it under Uni Converter com V Compress, and it's going to be have a crazy name on it. But I'm pretty sure you could change the name on it. It's almost done converting. I imagine the quality might go down a little bit once it gets converted. Oh, you could choose the format too, MP4 or whatever you want to choose, high quality. Oh, that okay. I see what's going on here. I'm sorry about that, guys. So anyway, the video is 39.33 megabytes, and it will be converted to 19.67. So that's a big difference from 39 down to 19. That's pretty cool, guys. It looks like it's stuck, though, on 61%. Hmm. All right, guys. It looks like it's been stuck here on 61% for a long time. So that's another bug that I found with the program. I'm just going to exit out of it. That's if you're just previewing. But if you hit compress, uh, it says it only lets you do five, tr five files in the, with using the trial. So it doesn't let you do much using the trial. So there it's compressing the video from 39 megabytes down to 19 megabytes. And I imagine that's probably going to take a while. Oh no, there it goes. 
That's pretty fast. 43%. And it's stuck there. I really don't want to make this video too long for you guys. Let's move on to the next feature. It's taking a long time. It might be another bug. You know how we had a bug with the preview. So I don't want to make this video too long for you guys. Let's move on to the next thing. So we have a CD burner as well, which is, which we were, we were looking at that a while ago. But that's to burn your music to CD. And the program is going very slow. Okay, there we are. So CD burner, you click on this add, and then you add your music in here, and you'll be able to burn that. Screen recorder, which is really cool. I like this one. So continue trial. It's only going to let you do one, it's saying. So there's a screen recorder. I'm using a screen recorder right now, but I use Screencast-O-Matic. Oh, look, here it is. It looks just like Screencast-O-Matic. So you just hit record, record here, and it looks like 5, 4, 3, 2, one and it should start recording uh, i forgot what it said to get out of it but it's recording right now what did it say hit control control pause i forgot which one it says to press so i hit the escape button and that's how i got out of the screen recorder so that's pretty cool it records the whole screen now let's go to cast to tv and see how that works All right, here we are, guys. Now, to, for this to work, you're going to need Wi-Fi. So you're going to have to have your PC and your TV connected to the same Wi-Fi. And then it'll it'll pop up and find your device on here. But since I'm not using Wi-Fi, I'm using my hotspot on my phone. This is not going to be, I'm not going to be able to do it right now. But check this out. You can actually convert or download videos as well. That is crazy. What the heck? Man, this thing has so many features on it. I'm impressed with Wondershare. I am actually very impressed with Wondershare. And last but not least, we have a CD ripper. So if you have an audio CD, music CD, you can put it on your uh, computer and insert a CD. It'll pick it up here, and then you can rip the music to your computer. You, special note, you could do that through Windows Media Player as well. So that's it, guys. That is all of the features of Uni Converter. Um, I do want to see how much it'll cost. Let's click on, click on the little uh, shop button up here. Because it looks like you're going to have to buy it. If you really want to use this thing, you're going to have to buy it. What the heck? Let's choose Google Chrome. So let's take a look how much it's going to cost. All right, guys. So one-year license is $39.95. Lifetime license is $49.95. Family license, that's two to five PCs, $99.95. Or a business license, one year. Uh, and that's going to be custom. Now, I don't work for Wondershare, guys. So I'm not trying to sell you this. There is free video converters online. If you look for them, there's free ones. And I made a bunch of videos on them. I'm going to make more also. But if you want to have all those features, because it's got a bunch of features, man. Do I recommend this for that price? Well, it's a one and all solution. I, 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 I mean, I would probably get the lifetime if you want to have all these features in one program. Keep in mind, you can get all these features for free, but you're going to have to download a converter for free a downloader for free a burner burner when you can even use windows media player for burner um screen recorder i pay 20 bucks a uh, year for my screen recorder i use screencast um vr converter i don't know if they have free ones i mean i think it is worth it man for all the stuff that it has it has all kinds of stuff on it maybe it is worth the lifetime license for 49.95 you know i i'm gonna I'm going to give uh, Uni Converter a 4 out of 5 stars just because it hung up during the video compressor. The video compressor is a little buggy, so I'm going to have to give it 4 out of 5 stars. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon in my next video.